Hey, what's up guys? Today, we're gonna automatically turn on an LED when it gets dark. So, in this demo, you'll see me wave my hand to create a shadow over the sensor module, and the LED turns on automatically. My name's Andrew, and let's get into this. As we switch over to the wiring diagram, for the contents for this project, I'm gonna include them in the description below. But essentially, it should be pretty straightforward. You just need a Pico, your breadboard, resistor, LED, your sensor module, and then some jumper wires. All right, so let's go ahead and switch over to the IDE Tani. And as you can see, this is going to be 10 lines of code, and this is real straightforward. You could run with this, and you'll be good to go. Uh, we're going to call our LED at pin 15 it's going to be an output then we have our sensor module at pin 14 and then we're just going to run a while true statement so if the ldr changes value we're going to set the led to value of one else is going to be zero so we could go ahead and run this now and i'm going to save it to my raspberry pi pico i am going to call this tutorial 3 i already have one for tutorial 3 because i was experimenting earlier let's go ahead and save it just remember to have the extension for Python. And you can't see it on screen, but off screen we can see the lights. So obviously this is going to be something we want to test. So we're going to go ahead and put in some sort of print statement. So it's going to be within the shell itself. So let me go ahead and type this in. And this is on. naturally we're going to make this off so let's go ahead and save it and i'm going to run it so it's going to shoot off a bunch of offs or on depending on the state so we're going to have to we're going to have to put some sort of stop or a timer on it so next i'm going to import new time and under my print on, I'm going to use utime dot sleep. And I typically work in milliseconds. If you don't want millisec if you do not want milliseconds, you don't need underscore ms. But let's just do it for one second. Gonna go ahead and save it and run it. So I don't have my finger above the sensor at all in order to turn off the lights. It, once I hold a shadow over the sensor, we're gonna see it turn on. And I'm gonna let go. And it's gonna be turned off. All right guys, I hope this helped you out. If you guys have any questions, drop it in the comments below and let's talk about it. Once again, thank you for stopping by and my name's Andrew and I'll check you out the next video.